Realty Las Vegas. And uh, we are going to take a look here at the Las Vegas Realtors Association data for February of 2024 here in the Las Vegas market. Alrighty, so we are looking at single family homes in Las Vegas for February of 2024. And we have number of units sold. That is February 2024, about 1,900 single family homes sold. The prior month, almost 1,500. And a year ago, 1,722. So we are up 10% on the number of homes sold year over year. And if we want to see what that looks like on a chart, let's see if we can take a look here. There we go. This is our February of 24. And this goes all the way back to January of 2005. So you've got a lot of data right there to look over. All the way through the bad times back in 2008 and such. Right now we've climbed up pretty good there from the prior month, as you can see. Okay, so median price of units sold, that is 460,000 in February. And a year ago, we were at 425, just the previous month, 445 in January of 2024. So that is at over an 8% increase year over year on the median price of sold homes. Not too shabby. If you're looking to buy, what are you waiting for there? Look at that. Look at those price gains. All the way back here, we've got an, our all-time high, and that is May of 2022. That was about 482000 Right now, we are at 460000 So closing in on that again. And if we look here at the number of available units, that is what the inventory is of homes for sale on the market. We're at 3471 in February. In January, we were at 3551. And a year ago, 4665. So there are less and less homes on the market. That's a, over a 2% inc or a decrease, rather, month over month. And from last year's February, down over 25%. And on the chart, that looks like this right here. So here we go, number of available units, inventory of homes for sale. And this goes all the way back to 2009. So you can see how we compare over all of that time to where we are right now. If we take a look here at number of new listings, that's homes that have come onto the market in February, 2,533. January, the month prior, 2,432. And in February, a year ago, 2243. So we do have more homes coming on the market, little by little, 4% increase year, or I'm sorry, month over month, and a 13% increase year over year in February. Next, we can look at months of effective inventory, which is the number of available units divided by the number of units sold in that month. How long would it take to sell off all of those units? It would take 1.8 months. In the previous month, January of 2024, that was at 2.4 months of effective inventory and a year prior, 2.7 months. Time on market share, zero to 30 days. So the homes that closed had been on the market for less than 30 days. Of those homes that closed, 56.1% of those had been on the market, zero to 30 days. Prior month, 52.5, and then a year ago, 41.1. So that shows that homes are selling quicker. There's a higher percentage that are going in zero to 30 days than there were prior, 15% increase year over year. There you have that information right there. Now I have had a few folks 
ask me to review the condo and townhouse market as well. So let's take a real quick look at that right here in the Las Vegas market, according to the Las Vegas Realtors Association. So condos and townhouses, number of units sold, 530 in February, January 476, and a year ago 450. So those have increased 11.3 month over month and year over year, 17.8% increase. If we look at median price of units sold, 283,000 in February of 24, compared to 275,000 in January of 24, and 255,000 in February of 23. That's an 11% increase year over year. In our inventory, number of available units, 1,160 this year in February, 1,136 January of 24, and then 1,155 in February of, the, of um, 23, excuse me. So those are pretty close um, year over year, um, not even half a percent increase. And if we look at the median price of available units, homes that are on the market, 285000 and the selling price is 283 so very close there. Um, prior month, 285 selling price was 275 And gosh, a year ago, it was 288 and the selling price was actually 255 So those are down a little bit from the prior year. We come on down to number of new listings. We have 738 in February of 24, 781 January of 24, and then the prior year in February, number of new listings coming onto the market in February was 616. So we do have a little bit of a uh, decrease in month over month, but in year over year, we are approaching a 20% increase in number of new listings. Months of effective inventory, 2.2% for condos and townhomes in February, 2.4 in January, and 2.6 a year ago. So there you have those parts right there. But there is another section I'd like to show us here, and that is the information from Altos Research for Realtors. And we have our Market Action Index, and as you can see, the little gas gauge type of thing right here, a reading of 45. The prior month is the gray area right here. So that number has increased month over month. And the further we get to the right, the more we are into a seller's market. So we are going further into a seller's market there. And I would say that has to do with the low inventory that is available to buyers. So that is increasing right now. Alrighty, let's take a look at median days on market. And this goes all the way back to March of 2019. Back then we had a 64 day on market average. And we're out here in March. This is a weekly one. So this gets updated weekly. The LBR data that we looked at previously gets updated monthly. And um, here we are for March 15th of 24. The 90 day average days on market is 62. So very similar to um, the same time period, March of 2019, pre all the trouble. Let's take a look here at properties with a price decrease. And we can see that that is on a downward trend line here. Properties with a price decrease, 32.59% of properties in the market had a price decrease. And as inventory wanes and such, that decreases because sellers do not have to cut their prices as much. And that's why they're rising up to 460000 in February. And we do see that trend line heading on down here. And here is what Altos has for inventory in the market. 
available homes. And we can see since back in about November of 22 has been on a pretty steady decrease here. Right now, as of March 15th, according to Altos, 2215 is the 90 day average for homes on the market. Okay, finally, let's take a look here at that market action index. Same as the uh, gas gauge we looked at previously there. And you can see that that is uh, on a little bit of a rise here from uh, going back to the middle of January until now. It's been heading up, heading back into the uh, making the seller's market a little bit stronger um, at 45.34 as of March 15th. So there you have it right there. That's the look of the um, the updated look of the Las Vegas Realtors Market. And I hope that helps you out. If you're looking to sell, inventory is down and um, things are moving here. That's keeping prices up. So that's good for the sellers, buyers. The quicker you jump in here, the more you can enjoy that equity appreciation that you'll find once you purchase. Let's hope it sticks that way, right? Okay, folks, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me anytime. I hope to be able to uh, speak with you. If you're looking to uh, list your property, feel free to give me a call. I'm working on those all the time. Okay, thank you, and uh, we'll talk about this again next month, hopefully, okay? Bye-bye now.